Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenol and ether part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand some commercially important alcohols. It's methanol and ethanol, the other two one will be covering. So for methanol, it is manufactured from methane. And this is used for industrial scale actually. This is used for industrial scale. Right, this methane. Commercially it is used, I mean commercially this uh, methanol is prepared from methane by a partial oxidation, by a partial oxidation of methane and methane generally you get from natural gas, right. So the reaction is you have methane and this is mixed with oxygen. Right, and it is passed through copper tube, this is a catalyst. You can see, and the temperature is pretty high 473 to 573 Kelvin, and at pressure of 100 ATM, you get CH3OH, and it is poisonous actually. So, methane is one source of preparation of methanol. You take methane. You do the partial oxidation of methane in presence of copper catalyst 473 to 500 degree Kelvin, and at 100 atmospheric pressure, you get methanol. The next is water gas. Water gas is nothing but CO and H2. And to, to form water gas, what you do is you take this red hot coke and you put some water on it. So, by action of steam on red hot coke, you get water gas. So water gas is you have carbon, you have this hot carbon, you get CO plus H2. Right? This total is called water gas. Now when this you heat at 573 Kelvin at 200 atmospheric pressure, you get CH3OH. In presence of you can use ZNO or Cr2O3. Correct. This is what from water gas you get methane, uh, methanol. So water gas is nothing but you take this red hot carbon, pass the steam over it, you get water gas CO and H2. The next is destructive distillation of wood. So you take wood, you take wood, and you heat this to high temperature, maybe 530 to 670 Kelvin without in absence of air absence of air right so in absence of air if you heat this wood at such a high temperature you get methanol so there are three ways of preparing methanol right and it is used as solvent in a lot of things paint wartness celluloid gums oil fats etc it is used to denature our industrial alcohol. As I told, this is poisonous. It is used to denature, that is, make it unfit for drinking. Because the industrial alcohol is normally ethanol, and ethanol is can be used also as beverage, right? And government doesn't want uh, ethanol is not good for health, but people enjoy drinking it. So to make it unfit, to make ethanol unfit to drink, methanol is mixed. It's also used for anti-fridge for automobiles and also used for component of motor spirits. It is also used to create formaldehyde that is in used to create plastics. Now we'll talk about ethyl alcohol that is ethanol. It is prepared from molasses. What is molasses? It is a black color, right, viscous liquid which is left in crystallization of cane sugar when you create cane sugar from cane juice it is a waste product actually it is a waste product of sugar cane industry it 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 has actually 50 to 60 percent sugar but it is a waste product in sugar cane industry right so the sugar in this molasses or fruits or sugar cane fruits is generally grapes is used. 
they are converted to glucose and fructose by fermentation right and in the presence of enzyme that is called invertase we have seen this actually the preparation of methanol right so uh, using this enzyme called invertase it is converted to glucose so what is fermentation fermentation is nothing but the process of breaking bigger organic compound such as sugar into smaller organic compound by action of bacteria yeast or enzymes correct so the reaction we have seen is example actually c12 s12 o11 sorry s22 o11 the sugar you mix with water water because uh, all this yeast which you are adding right yeast has enzymes called inverters so for this to uh, to work or to you know what do you call it? exist you need water because if it is very concentrated solution of sugar this would work so this will convert into glucose and fructose right this is glucose and again see even more times this is fructose same form this we have seen actually right so h2o must be there because it is must because the yeast cells right they cannot leave in the concentrated sugar solution now once you have got this glucose or fructose what you can do is you can again use the yeast and that has enzyme called cymes that will convert this into c2h5oh plus carbon dioxide correct so this process the first one is called fermentation and wine if you see is again type of ethanol for wine we use only grapes it's a very a uh, good source actually why i'll tell you here you don't even need all this yeast because when the grapes ripe right the sugar quantity in the grape increase also if you see this grape right is the grape actually so in this grape the outer shell the outer skin of the grape right it has yeast natural yeast on the outer skin as the grape grows the sugar quantity increase sugar increase so you take very rich grape right very ri ripe and grow grapes and then you crush it the moment you crush it this yeast which is there in the outer shell or outer core of the grape gets mixed with the actual sugar in the grape right the sugar and the enzyme that is the yeast outside this grape they are in contact and the fermentation starts and this fermentation breaks this grapes into glucose and fructose and then what you do you use this uh, zymase it removes the carbon dioxide and you get uh, alcohol and the whole process takes 2 to 3 days the next important use of uh, the ethanol is the beverage as i told the wines if you see it's all beverage it is used as substitute for petrols in the engines which is a petrol you can use ethanol not directly just don't go and use ethanol in your car it's you know petrol but it can be used it is used as solvent for dyes inks perfumes etc it is used to preserve biological species also it is used as fuel for lamps and stoves it is also used for anti freeze for automobiles so these are the uses of ethanol and in ethanol we talked about denatured ethanol why because ethanol if you see is also used for beverage right people use it for party but this is not good for health right but the same ethanol is 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 required for industry so government can't ban the ethanol but if it is used in industry people may use it for party and they may consume it and that may impact their health so what government does is whatever ethanol they have they are uh, giving it for industry they are making it unfit make it unfit to drink 
right by adding poison to it by adding poison and what is the poison poison can be methyl alcohol this is one poison poison can be acetone or poison can be pyridine so these are my any of this can be used actually to make it ethanol denature that means to make ethanol unfit to unfit to drink correct why unfit because see, ethanol has huge industry use but ethanol is not good for people health government doesn't want people to drink ethanol so whatever ethanol they are giving it for industry they are making it unfit to drink by adding methyl alcohol acetone or pyridine to it thank you Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.